If you've ever put off a pap test because it's awkward, inconvenient, or just not your favorite appointment, you're not alone. Good news, cervical self-screening is changing the game. Self-collection versus the traditional pap. Why self-screening can be easier and in many cases better. We'll also talk HPV, the real target behind both tests. Quick reset. Most cervical cancers are caused by high-risk types of human papillomavirus, HPV. HPV is super common, usually silent, and for most people, it clears on its own. The concern is when a high-risk type sticks around. Long-term infection can lead to cell changes and over years, cancer. Traditionally, screening meant a PAP test. A clinician uses a speculum to see the cervix and collects cells to look for abnormalities under a microscope. It works but can be uncomfortable and results depend on catching cell changes at the right moment. Enter self-screening. Instead of a speculum exam, you use a soft swab, at home or in a clinic restroom, to collect a simple vaginal sample. The lab runs an HPV DNA test on that sample, looking directly for the high-risk virus. Testing for HPV first is more sensitive than the PAP at finding people who are at risk early. Think of it like smoke detectors. The PAP looks for smoke, cell changes, after the fire starts. The HPV test looks for the spark, the virus, before the smoke. It's easy. A quick swab with clear instructions. It's private. No stirrups, no speculum. It's powerful. HPV testing finds risk earlier and more reliably than PAP alone. It boosts access. More people screen on their terms. But is it accurate if I do it myself? Large studies show self-collected samples for HPV testing are about as accurate as clinician-collected samples at detecting high-risk HPV. If the test is negative, you can typically wait longer until the next screen, often three to five years, depending on local guidelines. If the test is positive, that's not a cancer diagnosis. It just means you'll need follow-up. Often a clinician-collected PAP-HPV combination or a closer look at the cervix called colposcopy, depending on your program. The whole point is to catch anything early when it's easiest to manage. What self-screening doesn't do, it doesn't check for everything a pelvic exam could find. It also won't replace vaccinations. The HPV vaccine is one of the best tools to prevent the types that cause most cervical cancers. So, how to get started? Check if self-collection is available in your area. Some places mail kits. Others offer them in clinics or pharmacies. Read the instructions, collect the sample, and send it back the same day if possible. Expect clear results and what to do next. Negative? You're likely set until your next interval. Positive? Plan the follow-up your program recommends. Bottom line, HPV causes most cervical cancers. Self-screening targets HPV directly, is easy to do, and helps more people get screened earlier and more often without the stress of a speculum exam. It's not a one and done. It's the first step in a smart, modern screening pathway with follow-up when needed. If you're eligible, consider self-screening. If you've been delaying a PAP, this might be your moment to act, on your schedule, in your space, with real protection.